What's going on, everybody? Today, I got something special to share with you. Manscaped has once again outdone themselves with two new incredible tools that will level up your facial grooming game and keep you looking sharp. Yo, let's start with the Beard Hedger. Ever since I got mine, I actually use mine every single day to keep my beard trimmed up. And the coolest thing about it is it's actually waterproof, so you can use it in the shower. And then we got their newest product, the Handyman, which is a facial shaver designed for precision and convenience. So what are you waiting on? Upgrade your facial grooming routine today. All you have to do is visit manscaped.com and enter the coupon code ANGRYMAN20 at checkout and you'll get 20% off the Beard Hedger and the Handyman from Manscaped. Get yours today. Now, when we was coming up, a lot of us wanted money. You know the reason why we wanted money? Because it could afford you a better life. You could get the things you want, but more than anything, what we noticed coming up is the people that had money was respected. But for some odd reason, when it comes to the men of our community, when we get money, we ain't respected. When we get money, we're treated like we're supposed to do some shit. Ain't nobody biting their tongue because they worried about you cutting them off. And I'm going to tell you the reason why. The reason why is because you got so many brothers out here doing shit for people that don't deserve it. You got so many brothers out here that got money now and they always wanted to be somebody that, that, that was strong enough to take care of everybody. You feel me? See, what people don't realize is the ones that come up are the ones that are the most thoughtful. The ones that come up, the reason what their motivation was when they were younger is they were the type of person that wanted to help everybody that was in their family and their friends and all of that, right? Because this is the way their thought process went. And I know how their thought process went because my thought process was the same thing. They looked around at everybody they knew and they saw how they were struggling and they saw how they was doing bad and they said to themselves, I wish I was in a position to fix all of this. But the only problem is when you're down there at the bottom, you don't understand and realize how ungrateful and raggedy people can be. You don't understand that even though you're able to do certain things, it doesn't mean those people are going to respect you after you do it. Now, why is this? It's easy. See, when you're at the bottom and you have just as much as everybody else, there's no reason for them to be jealous. There's no reason for them to be envious. And see, what happens is when you are the one that rises above the fray, when you're the cream that rises to the top, every one of them, yeah, they're, they're willing to take whatever you give them. They'll have their hand out. And they're willing to take whatever you give them because... They're in need. They're at the bottom. They're struggling. They don't have no problem taking what you got. But it don't mean they're going to respect you. If anything, they're going to envy you. Because in their mind, it should have been them. In their mind, they want to be the one to be able to help this one and help that one and blah, 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 right? But they have, but it's, you know, their motivations is different. See, the people that don't succeed are the ones that want to help people because of their ego. The people that do succeed are the ones that want to help people because they genuinely want to help people. And this is the reason why people like that always feel some type of way when they get to a certain level. It's just like Drake said in the song, Trust Issues. He said, if you look me in my eye, you can see I ain't myself. Because if y'all what I created, then I hate myself. Now, most people won't even understand what he meant by that. I understood what he meant by that. He's talking about how success changes everything around you. How having money changes everything around you. To the point where the people around you start acting differently. And you can't figure it out. And then all of a sudden you say, oh... You're acting like this because of where I'm at. 
So that's what he meant when he said, if you look me in my eyes, you can see I ain't myself. Because if y'all what I created, then I hate myself. Kanye said, you got that big fame, homie, and you just changed, homie. You can ask big homie, man, the top so lonely. Because once you reach a certain level of money, you can't trust nobody. You can't. Because you don't know what their motivations are. So you end up in this space where you kind of have to isolate yourself. I, I seen a TikTok from Bootsy. And this is what he said. I think it was around Christmas time. And he did a TikTok and he said, look, man. Don't call me asking me for no money, man. I got it, but I don't got it. I knew exactly what he meant. See, what people don't realize about getting more money and becoming successful, you got goals you're trying to accomplish. And in order to accomplish those goals, you're trying to, you're, you're trying to go to the next level. And in order for you to go to the next level, you got to hold on to a certain amount of your money. Because guess what? If you just walking around like this, just handing out money to everybody that asks, before you know it, you'll be broke. 